We are here today in the halls of Congress visiting our progressive and democratic representatives, urging them to vote no on the Israel Security Supplemental Act. It is $26 billion going to Israel in the midst of a genocide, $17 mil uh, billion of which is just weapons. More money so that they can kill, starve, maim a population. And so we are urging our Congress people vote no on this supplemental. We've visited several offices so far. We're getting some positive pledges or promises that they are voting no. We're asking them if they are on board voting no to talk to colleagues and get them on the same page. That's one of our messages as well, to put out public statements saying that this is not okay. We need to see our leaders reflecting what uh, constituents, what the majority of American people want right now, which is a ceasefire and no more of our money going to kill innocent people in Gaza. We also want our Congress members to get together and to go up onto Capitol Hill and give a public statement, every single one of them. Because when your behavior and your actions match, we can trust you. Right now, we're unsure of who our Congress congressional members are that we can actually trust. No more money to Israel. We're calling on Congress to uh, stop funding uh, Israel to uh, stop the uh, genocide, genocidal war uh, on Gaza, and also fund UNRWA to provide humanitarian aid to the people that need it the most in Gaza. As Palestinian Americans, we are here to lend our voices to the, our allies that have been so gracious and so kind to our people. We are here to hold our elected officials accountable, uh, let them know that the masses need to be heard, and we want them to back up what they say, what they've been starting to say, we need to vote uh, accordingly. And that's more important, most importantly to stop aid to Israel, military aid, offensive aid, um, to continue this genocide. And we want an immediate permanent ceasefire. No money to Israel.